Here we go, weld tube. Back with another video. We're gonna be doing this time is a, uh, a weld repair video. This one's gonna be done with stick. It's in the filler. Uh, we left a little bit of slag and some porosity. Here we're gonna show you how to get it out. Now this is just a mock-up video. This isn't exactly how it's going to be out in the field, but we're trying to mock it up as close as we could. Uh, say somebody else left a pipe and there's an inclusion in there. QC is going to come by and they're going to give you something similar to this. It's going to have your markings from what X-ray had left, which is one and two here and here, and one and two here and here. You're going to have to take your overlay and you're going to mark up your numbers and you mark up your bevels. What's in between the two, uh, the two lines here is your bevels, and then this is gonna be your indication, whether it be a line, a circle, dots for porosity, et cetera, et cetera. Now you gotta pay attention to which way the overlay is going. It could say one and two, but you don't wanna have it upside down. There's gonna be an arrow marking which direction it is flowing. So you mark it up, you know that here's gonna be your indication. You take it off, your indication's gonna be somewhere in here. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to tackle that. Now. You're gonna line up your one and two. I like to take a soapstone, a marker, whatever you have, set it down and you wanna mark out where your indication is gonna be. Double check it. Then you're gonna start taking your grinder to it. When you take your grinder to it, you wanna make sure that you're leaving the bevels. You don't wanna grind outside of the bevels. So I take my cap down flat with the grinder wheel going in this direction to keep just my, my cap going flat. Once it gets to about a sixteenth, then I can start moving my grinder here and then taking down the bevel. An important thing to keep in mind is when you're doing this, you don't want to just dig straight into the pipe because you don't know how big the indication is. It could be real small, it could be, it could be big, but if you just dig straight into it, who's to say you might grind it all the way out and then you're just going to keep digging and you go all the way to the root without finding it. So you take it and you just skim your grinder until you start finding it. Now I've taken my cap here pretty flush. Um, one thing to always keep in mind is you don't want to have your grinding marks go to the, to the pipe. Also, you wanna make sure that you don't, you're not trying to repair a whole quarter of the pipe. You're only trying to take out that little area. So you wanna take out just as little amount as possible to make the repair. Now that I've got it flat, I'm gonna start digging in and trying to keep out an eye for the, uh, the indication. Now, as you can see right here, this is the, uh, the beginning of the, the indication. Like I was saying before, you wanna skim with the grinder because already going just, as soon as I found it, I already took out two or three pieces of porosity. Now when you get something like this out in the field, you're not gonna just grind out the indication and then go straight into welding. They're gonna keep that pipe and they're gonna shoot it again to make sure that you've gotten all the indications out and you're not just gonna waste time filling it back up. So for, this is all demonstration, so we're just gonna go ahead and fill it back up and
Now here we go guys, we've uh, flushed out the pipe, we are prepped for our cap. I like to leave me a little guideline to keep my, my cap to go straight. Sometimes you get, you get a little bit lost whenever you're doing your repairs. But uh, one thing to take into consideration is you need to check to see how many beads the last person left, or in, if that case it's you. I left uh, three beads whenever I did this cap, so you got to make sure that you put three beads for your repair. You can't go in there putting two beads or a four bead cap. You got to make sure that you match the other, the other weld. And uh, let's just go ahead and cap this out. All right, also one thing to take into consideration is when you're doing a cap, make sure to pay attention to what's, what side that the, uh, the previous cap was started on. In this case, it was the left side, so I'm starting there. So I'm moving from left to right. You want your cap to match theirs as, as much as possible. All right, well, tube. Now I've capped off my pipe. I've grinded both my stop and my starts. Tried to make it as uniform as possible without going too wide and outside of my bevels. Um, you know, I could have used this video back in a couple years ago whenever I had a repair and I didn't know what I was looking at whenever someone gave me an overlay. So I hope this video helps you guys and uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow us on YouTube and uh, follow me at Shines Weld on Instagram and uh, y'all have a good evening.